Hello everyone. Finally, today we will determine utopia, the best political system possible. It will be necessary, when we know what it is, to implement it everywhere so that humanity can prosper in the best way. Therefore, let's get into it. Among the five government forms, which one is the most flawless? I will tell you, each one of them is equally functioning. This might be counterintuitive, but the reason is because we haven't thought about it practically. By definition, any system is the best system given that whomever is in power is virtuous. So practically speaking, the best system is the one which limits evil people from taking power and we'll discuss that in the next chapter. But still, assuming everyone is virtuous, which system should we use? This question is answerable by prioritizing one aspect of each one of the five. Monarchy has authority, as the monarch can effortlessly enforce his laws, avoiding people from striving further from his orders. Aristocracy has speed and efficiency because a small council of people is able to elaborate tens of points of view in a relatively short amount of time. Republic has accuracy, because the various organs can accurately ponder any governmental act, thanks to the division of tasks and roles. Polyarchy has experience, since the entire principle on which this system is found upon is the rule of the experts, so each branch of society is well administered, and democracy has plurality, so that any act that the government does will have to be approved by the majority of the population, thus making revolts impossible. If we want to prioritize multiple, however, it is possible for us to merge two or more of the five systems. This has already happened multiple times in history, for example when Augustus took power in the Roman Republic, he didn't create an empire thus making it a monarchy, but created a principate, which was a mixed system between republic and monarchy. This was incredibly efficient, because the emperor served the purpose of supervisor of the republic's work. The question however remains. What is the best practical system? What's the system that will prevent the most evil people from having power over society? We will analyze everything here in the next chapter the final chapter of the series. Thus, see you then, be well.